Today we're taking a look at the UNC College Air Jordan 4 PE. We're gonna be going through all the ins and outs of this shoe so you guys can have a better understanding as to why this sneaker is worth $7,000. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Before we start breaking down the shoe and going over the styles, cuts, and materials, you know we gotta talk about the history first. Michael Jordan went to UNC, he won a championship, and then went on to the NBA, and obviously did a bunch of tremendous things. And at the beginning of his young career as a Chicago Bull, he actually went back to an alumni game, and Nike made him a special pair of Jordan 2s in his college colors. This was slated to be the first ever UNC Jordan PE. And then nearly 20 years later, we saw PEs integrated into the college shoe game as well when it comes to Jordans and to my memory I think it was the Jordan 13s no 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 I'm not talking about the low tops everybody knows about those we're talking about the high tops bruh if you don't remember that era trust me when I tell you this was a legendary time and I know this video is about UNC but we cannot forget to mention the Jayhawk Air Jordan 13s perfection but anyways back on topic about eight to ten years later after the jordan 13s we saw the air jordan 4s no 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 i'm not talking about those i'm talking about the original unc air jordan 4 pe that's better right there now that shoe oh my gosh let's just again talk about the era if you guys don't know during this time 2013 2014 we saw Oregon Ducks, they were killing it with the PEs and they started to integrate other colleges into the PE rotation. So what did they do? They gave UNC a pair, the blue suede, the Argyle print throughout the shoe, amazing sneaker. And then they gave Georgetown that same treatment on their pair, again, another amazing shoe. We saw the Duckman 4s and then we saw kind of like a mixed use version because the schools had the same color. They had a Cal Jordan 4 and a Marquette Jordan 4, but it was essentially like the same shoe. Now during this time, these five Air Jordan 4s were the top dogs in the game. Everybody wanted to have them in their collection. Yeah, they were going for a few thousand dollars at the time. And now look at them. They're like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 shoes. So after we saw that original UNC Air Jordan 4 PE, to me, one of the greatest UNC PEs of all time. Later in the 2018-19 season, we saw the UNC 4 PE come back to life. And that was in this version right here. This time around, there were a ton of new sneaker heads coming into the game. Everybody's starting to get interested into PEs and next thing you know we got a lot of people going after the shoes because what there were more schools that had Jordan 4 PEs you have Marquette Florida Oklahoma Georgetown Michigan and UNC I've done a full review on that set on this channel before so if you guys want to check that out make sure you guys watch that after this video is over but basically these Jordan 4 started to set the new tone when it comes to college PEs a few years before that we saw the low top twos the 29s the low top 13s a bunch of different iterations that people just did didn't show too much interest in even though I did again everybody follows the hype with the better models I understand that and because of that after this year with the fours we then began to see a bunch of new models hit the market that everybody wanted over the past five years and then now in current time we still got the low top Air Jordan 1 that just came out this year and I'm very interested to see what model they do next year my guess the Jordan 7 so now that you guys know a little bit more about the history of the shoe let's go ahead and take it to the studio so what we're gonna do first is break down this entire sneaker showing you guys all the details the ins and outs the shapes the custom materials the color blocking, the patterns, you name it, everything that goes along with it. And then we're gonna be comparing it against the UNC Air Jordan 4 general release. And then uh, let you guys kind of make your mind up, which ones you guys like more. So starting with the bottom, you have your classic Air Jordan 4 outsole, hair and bone traction on the back end and around the front end. Now typically they kind of do like a triple pattern color on here. You have like something here, different color jump man, different pods, different things. They just went all over, translucent ice blue. And honestly, we've seen this on the other college four PEs as well, but because it's the UNC pair, it just goes perfect with them. Now going up to the midsole right here, you have a blue section at the front end with a navy speckle. And then on the back end, you have a two-tone midsole, blue on the top, white on the bottom with a navy speckle all throughout. Now looking inside of the air unit right here, you have a navy air unit matching that same color speckle. Now going to the top of the shoe, the entire upper is covered in suede and it's all premium feels really really nice and you got that unc blue with the unc stitch all throughout the sneaker as well now looking at the mesh right here in the nets you have unc blue mesh with the unc nets and then on the arms right here on the side of the foot and the eye holes at the front end right here with that little lace lock area that's all going to be translucent and you're going to have two different colors on that you're going to have the navy and the unc blue speckled all throughout now looking at the tongue same thing here you got the unc mesh in the back end and then the unc nets above that and these come standard with the pair of UNC wax laces and they have an additional pair of all white wax laces as well when it comes to the P 
PEs, you always know they're gonna come correct whether it's hang tags or laces or whatever it may be. They always like to add the little trimmings. Speaking of that, you have another hang tag right here and that's gonna be in your translucent plastic, classic to the Air Jordan 4 and then it's gonna have the UNC color with the translucent Jumpman and the Air logo just below that. Now looking at the tongue of the shoe right here, you have a UNC patch with the actual North Carolina UNC branding right here in the center of the tongue and that's gonna be in navy and it's gonna have a black border around that logo and then below that you have your classic air jordan 4 branding with the white flight right here now on the top of the tongue right here you have a unc suede and then on the back end you have a navy colored material as well and then instead of having the air jordan branding right there you actually have the football branding now on the left foot it says unc and on the right foot it says football depending on the pe from where it was made whether it was a football team the basketball team different things like that it might say different things now when it comes to the sock liner on here you're gonna have all unc blue throughout that and on the right foot you're gonna have a jump man in all black and then on the left foot on the heel you're gonna have the unc logo in all black as well right here you have an all unc blue tab and then you have your navy speckle throughout that with the navy jump man in the center of the heel now would it have looked doper if they would have done a unc logo or a nike air branding I think yes, but I get it during the whole time when they were creating this and they did the whole set. I understand that. Plus the original samples that came before this version right here, they actually had logos and branding on the outsole and beneath the insole, which is a whole nother topic. I might've seen a couple different versions of some shoes like this before, but uh, we'll talk about that in another video. So overall, as you can see, similar to all the other college four PEs, decked out in the school color. I love how they went with the UNC blue. I think it's a really, really clean shoe. And overall, I'm excited to finally add these to the collection. Cause y'all know I got the UNC threes with the UNC logo on the tongue. And I ended up getting the ones as well, which is a crazy shoe. And y'all know I had to get the sixes cause I love me some sixes. So now when it comes to the comparison of these two sneakers right here, there are a lot of differences between the two shoes. You got the GR and you got the PE version. Obviously the price is way different, but the actual shoes are really, really different as well. So let's start with the bottoms and kind of work our way up. Looking out the outsoles, as you can see right here, translucent, and then like I said, triple, you know, three, four colors right here. You got the gray, the black, the white, the blue, and then going to the midsoles, same thing is gonna be right here. You can see similar when it comes to the color blocking, but different when it comes to the actual colors. And then this actually has a gray unit that matches with the paint on the uh, midsole on here. Kind of more like a white cement four compared to like this one. It's just kind of got its own thing going. Translucent arms, different right there as well. And then the same thing with that. Now, looking at the suede, you can see 100% drastic difference on this right here. The suede on the PE is just, I mean, way better. This feels a little bit rougher. Some people might say it's nice, but I'm telling you, if you put these two side by side, it's just, it's just nicer. Now, another thing to notice as well, when you put these two shoes side by side, I'm not sure if you guys have seen or not, but this is where they started to create the retros you know, with the new modern day OG cut from the 89 Air Jordan 4 from back in the day. So as we've seen Jordan 4's retro over the past few years, we've been seeing this treatment. But when it comes to the UNC PE, these actually came way before the GR did. And this was during the era of a different mold, a different cut, a different style. And if you look at the tongues, you can see there's definitely a huge difference. How if you look at the profile of the tongue like this, you can see the navy on the back of it. And then on here, there's definitely none of that. And obviously this is like a whole different shade. Honestly, it looks even more black than navy. I feel like this is actually black uh, compared to this one being that navy. And then on the patch on the tongue here, you got the team issued equipment kind of thing like we've seen back in the day on the jerseys and the shorts and stuff. Hang tag. Did these ones come with a hang tag? I don't remember if they, I don't think these came with a hang tag. Am I tripping? Now, don't get me wrong. Some people, they like this version more, completely get it. I like both. I'm not gonna, like if I can only pick one, I would have a hard time picking one. I feel like just because of materials and presentation and how the shoe is put together quality wise, I'm going with the PE. And typically it's like that with a lot of PEs. But if I were to go color blocking and everything, I feel like, because this looks like a white cement four, that's what's throwing me off because it's like, it's not a white cement four. You're taking like a OG colorway and adding something to it to make it something. So that's why I'm kind of like, eh, you know, it's like whatever type thing. And I think that's what would make me gravitate to this, especially with the icy outsole and everything. Looking at the heel on the back end, compare them to GR to the PE, different color tabs, the Jumpman's a different color, even the shape and the cut around the suede and how high it is on the GR compared to the PE. A lot of little differences and then obviously 
color blocking is a big thing when it comes to these two shoes. So that's an in-depth look at the Air Jordan 4 UNC PE. If you guys want to see any other reviews like this when it comes to PEs, I have a fully dedicated playlist. I got all the other UNC PEs plus a bunch of other college stuff and samples and different things. It's all in the playlist for you guys. So if you want to check that out, I'll have some links for you guys at the end of this video as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on another one. I would never let you down. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, I have a ton on the inside when it comes to my Sneakerhead Academy. It's an eight-week program that breaks down everything when it comes to the ins and outs of the shoe game, learning the market and how to grow and scale your collection at the same time, or turn it into a hustle and getting a bunch of money if you'd like to do that as well. And if you want to invest in the real estate, I have all the tips and tricks in live meetups where we do monthly meetups and everybody jumps in and we go over a call and we talk about different goals and aspirations that we have and how we can help each other get there. So if that's something that you're interested in, hit the link down below, get signed up. I would love to see you on the inside. It's the holidays right now, so we got a special going as well. All right, you guys, I'm out. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One I would never let you down. It's in my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the 